Hey guys and welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this really cool display case. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make it. Right guys to make this really cool display case you're going to need all the blocks that you can see right in front of me. We are going to need armor stands, spruce wood, stone slabs, pistons, redstone blocks, light grey stained glass, quartz slabs, signs and a custom cauldron head. Now if you cannot get custom heads you can use a wither skeleton skull as an alternative. Now once you have all these blocks we then need to find an area of where we want to build our display case. Now the first step to building it we need to grab our armor stand and place it down wherever we want just like that. Then grab your spruce wood and build spruce wood all the way around an armor stand just like this. Then grab your stone slabs. Now to the side of the armor stand, place down three stone slabs. So one, two, three, just like that. Then place a stone slab on top of the armor stand. Then we can destroy these stone slabs that we put down originally. Then we're going to grab our piston and we're going to make our piston face down into the slab, just like that. And then we're going to power this piston so it pushes down the slab on top of the armor stand like this. Now we can destroy our piston and our redstone block. Next what we're going to do guys, we're going to give ourselves a command block. Now to do that, you need to type this command inside of your chat and that is slash give, then your Minecraft name, then type C-O-M-M, -M, press tab, press enter, and that will give you a command block. Now with this command block, you can place it down wherever you want, but then once you've placed it down, we need to right click on it and then we need to paste this command inside of your command block. Now this command will be in the description guys. So all you need to do is copy and paste. Once you have done that, we need to change this button here to always active, press done. And then that will give us a custom cauldron head as you can see right here. Now with this custom cauldron head, what we're going to do is right click with it and put it on top of our armor stand right there just like that. Now guys, if you don't have access to custom heads, all you can do right here is put a wither skeleton skull instead of using this custom cauldron head. So once we have done this part right here, guys, what we need to do now is grab our light gray stained glass and build around this area right here with three blocks of light stained glass. So what we're gonna do is build up three blocks like that and do that all the way around this block right here, but leaving a gap for ourselves at the front. So why we're leaving this gap at the front is because we want to place our custom head or whatever we want to display on our display case. So I'm going to grab a dragon egg right here. And then what I'm going to do is right click on this stone slab at the bottom and that will place our dragon egg inside of our display case. And it looks really, really cool. Now we can continue to cover this all up right here by placing glass at the front. Then we're going to grab our quartz slabs and cover up the top of our display case with quartz slabs like this. And finally, we're gonna grab our sign, place a sign at the top right here, and we can place a sign at the bottom. And we're gonna say dragon egg on this sign right here, just like that. And there we go, guys. We have a really cool and simple display case where you can display any kinds of items in your game. But a really cool thing about this display case, guys, you can make it whatever size you want to. As you can see right here, I have made a really wide display case and we have a ton of different items inside. I have a dragon head over here, a dragon egg, a creeper head, a skeleton head, a Steve head, and a zombie head. And it looks absolutely awesome when you display multiple items inside of the display case. But I have to give a big shout out to Xeron Builds for allowing me to use this design. But guys, we have a really Really nice looking display case for you guys to use in any of your builds. But guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial today and you want to see more just like it and you never want to miss an upload from me, all you need to do is click on the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time I upload a brand new tutorial. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in another how-to tutorial.